Hi everyone, welcome to another TechNer tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to send and receive from multiple emails in a single Gmail account. In Gmail, one of the biggest complaints that we have with Gmail is that when you compose an email, you can only send from your own email address. There's no way to, by default, send from any other email address. But there is a feature within the settings of Gmail in the Accounts and Import tab, which will allow you to send mail as, which gives you the option to add another email which you can send from. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to get a pop-up that asks for us to put in a secondary email that we can send from. So this email I'll try my best to reference as a secondary email. And there's an option to treat as alias where you can click the learn more to find out. So we have to send a verification to the secondary email address. And here we can either put in the verification code or we can go ahead and close this window go to our secondary email address and accept in the email that is sent, which is what we're going to go and do. So we're going to close this window and I'm going to switch windows to the secondary email address. In here, we see the email that when I click into it, there's a very long string. I can go ahead and click and that will then accept this send mail as feature. So now that I've done this in the secondary email, I return back to the primary email and in the inbox, after I refresh the screen, when I click on the compose button, then it will give me the option in a drop down menu to choose whether I want to send from the primary email address or the secondary email address. So I'm going to choose to send to an external email address from that of the secondary email address and then from there we'll be able to see that even though I'm in the primary TNS user 01 gmail.com account I can send as TNS user 02 the secondary email account to this external email. I'm going to head, go ahead and send this and now when I go to that particular email then I will see that it was sent from TNS02. Now that the email has arrived, we can see that's from a TNS user, but the important thing is when I click into this email and I look at the details of who sent it, it will say that it is sent from TNS user 02, the secondary email account. This was sent from the primary email account, but there's no indication in the email that it was sent from the primary email account. So that's great. We've set up so that we can now send out as a secondary email from our primary email address. But the other thing we want to worry about is how to receive emails from our secondary email address. So now in our secondary email address, we want to go ahead and go into the settings. And in the settings, we want to set up account forwarding. So in settings, we want to click on the forwarding and pop IMAP tab and we want to add a forwarding address. This is going to ask for us to add an email. We want to add our primary email address to this field and then we can go ahead and hit next and then go ahead and hit proceed to confirm this. This will now send an email to our primary email address which we'll then have to accept the same way we did as the send mail as. So we click on this new email. We can either put in the confirmation code or click on the link, which is easier. And then now I'll be able to, in the secondary email address, forward all emails to the primary. I just need to go ahead, hit on refresh. And now I have some options to forward a copy of all incoming mail to TNS user 01, the primary email address, and some options to either to mark emails here as read, to archive them, to delete them. Basically, just what do I want it to do in this secondary email address? Here, there's also a banner that says that it'll remind me for seven days that everything is being forwarded. So now in this external account, if I go ahead and send an email to the secondary email address, TNS user 02, and this message is going to get sent to that account, it will automatically forward to our primary email address. So there we go, that was sent. I'm now going to my primary email address, TNS user 01, 
in the inbox, here I can see that I have a new message, and this was sent to TNS user 02. And if I go into the, to the details of the email, it will then show that as well. Also, if I reply, it will reply as if I was TNS user 02. However, if I want to make this change, I can go back to the accounts and import. There's an option to choose to reply to from the same address that it was sent to, or to always reply to from the default address, our primary email address. So we have that option for the replies as well. One thing to note about these instructions is that they were forwarding instructions for another Gmail account. However, you can forward emails from any other account as well, but you'll have to find those forwarding instructions for your specific accounts. So whether it's Hotmail, whether it's Outlook, whether it's uh, Yahoo, any of those do have a universal forwarding feature, but their instructions will be slightly different than what was just demonstrated. Regardless, once you have that forwarding set up, all the emails being sent to those locations will land in your primary email address here in Gmail. So now that that is set up, there isn't really an indication that this is being sent to the secondary email address. So I want to go ahead and create that. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is that I want to be able to uh, create a filter. And we see that this email, even though it's received in the primary, it's sent to the secondary, TNS user 02. So I can do that as an advanced search, the to colon and then the email address. And this will give all the emails that were sent directly to the secondary email address. When I click on the drop down menu, there's a create filter with the search that I want to click. And then the easiest is to apply a label and I can choose an existing one or here I'm going to create a new label. And I find the easiest is to just put the email address of that secondary email. So I go ahead, hit create. I want to also apply to all existing emails. And when I hit the blue button, then now all new incoming emails will have a label pre-applied that says that this is to the secondary email address. So I'm going to go ahead and archive everything in this inbox. I'm going to go back again to the external email account. This is TNS user 05. So it's an external one. We're going to email again to TNS user 02, our secondary email address. And from there, when I see this in my primary email address, then when that comes, it will automatically already have a label attached to that message indicating that it is sent to the secondary email address. So I go ahead, refresh the page, and here we have the new email. It was sent to the secondary email address, but I see it here in my primary email address, the TNS01. Now it also is defaulted that it will automatically reply from TNS02, even though I'm in TNS01. And therefore, I have two email addresses that I'm working with in this one single primary email address. The additional really useful feature of this is that you're seeing that in the message field, there is no signature. When I go ahead and set up signatures, I can choose to have a separate signature for that of the primary email address and that of the secondary email address. So this also makes it as an additional value add to having multiple emails in a single Gmail account. Once you're done making changes to your signatures, don't forget to scroll down to the bottom and click that Save Changes button to apply your new signature changes. With that, we have now successfully added the ability to send as another secondary email address in our primary email address in Gmail. We also managed to forward all emails to that secondary email address to this Gmail account. And from there, we also created a filter so that we can have a visual cue that these emails are coming from that secondary email address. So with that, now we have a single primary email address where we manage multiple email addresses in Gmail. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. 
If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.